I just came into an area now, uh, we had picked this a couple of days ago, and there are more verpas here than I can believe. They're just everywhere. So, going to be having a good time with these right now. This is Verpa Bohemica, the false morale. We've got so many verpas now, uh, this is the way we're going to be picking them. Just twist the taps. This is the way you can tell false morale. This, whoops, yeah, sits on there like a lampshade. Pretty cool, huh? Here's the second batch of Verpa Bohemica Tom Polonies. As you can see, the underside of the cap is not attached to the stem. A little top view. You can probably see the underside of the cap a little bit better now. They aren't connected at the bottom. As you can see on the interior, too, of uh, cottony fiber in the stem. Those are Verpa Bohemica false marrow. They are edible to some people. Now there is a big Verpa. Look at the size of that thing. My God. That's huge. <laughs> I can't get far enough away from the camera. My God. What a monster. Uh, here's Verpa Bohemica again. I just found Quite a few of them here around this uh, at one ash tree. That's a good size one there. Oh yeah, baby. Nice false morale. Here we are with a worm cam again. Kind of up. This is a little taller worm. Oh, there's two Verpa Bohemicas again. One right there, which is a nice one. And the other one right there. They're all over here. It's ridiculous. That's all I'm picking right now is verpas everywhere. There's a couple of nice big verpas. It's unreal, ain't it? Well, they make some good fryers, though. They'll fry up nice and good. There's a triple of verpa bohemica right there. There's one, two, three. This is not a planted shot. There's uh, two black morels there and then <laughs> verpa growing next to it. Isn't that something? 